Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Now today I have a bit of a naughty tongue-in-cheek um, creation to share with you. So if you are little and this is not appropriate for you to be making, um, you need to skip through this video. It's I'm not going to set it to... Um, an 18 plus because it's not 18 plus it's just a little bit naughty and um i, I don't think it's any naughtier than doing the, the the wrecking ball or anything like that but um some parents i understand might think that this is a little bit inappropriate and i do appreciate that but um i think it's rather funny and the the resounding response that I've had when I showed it was that yes some people would or rather a lot of people would like to be able to make one because uh, it is a bit funny and a bit naughty anyway let me share with you and again if you think that maybe this is not the thing for you please move on we're going to be doing a coaster but it is a cat butt coaster now I cannot say that this this is my design of it it is not my idea um, I did find a crochet pattern um, well, I didn't find the pattern I found the result um, I haven't looked I don't look at patterns when I make things um, unless somebody has asked me to help them understand it um, so this is I saw a picture and I thought that would be fun let's see if I can make it in loom bands and, and this is my result so this is what we're going to do a cat butt <laughs> coaster and as a cat mummy I find this rather amusing so we're going to start by doing a little magic ring and boy is it magic at times of six I'm going to do it on my hook so I'm going to wrap my band around my hook once and twice now I'm going to do this one in brown because I think brown is a little easier to view on camera than the black this one I did as a black one we're going to do a magic ring of six so take your first band slide it through and if you need to use your uh, loom to do this, that's fine. Pinch your little end cap here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. And do your first little loop. Then you push back through that little end cap. And do your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Let's get our bands ready. Pull through. And again, do your little knot. And join it in back through the three little loops now one of the things you can do if you're having trouble with your three little loops is put your stitch marker on it um, some people I've seen use a hair a bobby pin but you can always just put your stitch marker through like this and that just keeps it um, separate from the rest of the bands if you need to helps you just pull it a little bit So magic ring, here we come, with six. That's all the pink bands you're going to need. Take that off. We will use it again in a minute. So we, we need to do a colour change. We're moving now. I'm going to put these pink bands away. Moving now to brown. I'm using the Rainbow Loom Cocoa Brown. Um, you can do any kind of colour, really. You can mix it up and make it sort of a calico or tabby cat or anything like that. So... We're changing colour, so we're going to do a slip stitch. So move through your first stitch with your brown band. You're going to go through both those loops, one over the other. And we'll put our stitch marker on that. That is our first stitch. We're going to do an increase. So go back into that stitch and we do another single crochet. Okay. Go into the second stitch. Oops, so you come back here. One, and do two in that stitch. We're doing two in all of them. And two here. One, two, one, two. Let's count our stitches. We ignore the little colour change 
slip stitch here. This is where our stitch is, where our stitch marker is for our first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and number twelve is on our hook. Okay, our next round is going to be a single crochet followed by an increase. So through our first stitch here, single crochet, move your stitch marker, and then in our second stitch we do an increase. Single crochet, and an increase. And we're going to do this until we get all the way around to the next round. Okay, single crochet and increase. If you're not familiar with how to do these crochet stitches, I do have a playlist on my YouTube channel which shows you all the different stitches that I've learned so far. And also, it, there's a beginner's guide to Lumigurumi, and that is very handy if you're new to this. And uh, it will show you how to do a magic ring up close using your loom to help you. Um, it'll show you how to do a single crochet, how to do a slip stitch, all that sort of stuff. Now let's just make sure we're not, yeah, we're doing fine here. Now we should end up, and you're going to try not to stretch these bands. There is uh, one person that's doing some tutorials out there, and I, I will not name names. Oops, my stitch mark has fallen off, but I know where I'm at. Um, so that's the end. Now, our next round is two single crochets, followed by an increase. I'm going to zoom back out a bit. There we go. Two single crochets, followed by an increase. Let's do our first one. One, put my stitch marker back on. Two, and our increase. So yes, as I was saying, this other channel, <laughs> when they're doing their stitches, they're pulling their bands so tight that I actually physically cringe. So they're getting out a band and they're pulling it through and they're, they're doing it like this. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, you are going to get the biggest gaps. I mean, they're really pulling it tight. And you don't want that. You want to try. That's why I use a smaller hook. I use a 2.75. Because you want these bands to be as loose as you possibly can. We have no control over the, the uh, tension um, other than stretching the bands. So you don't want to stretch the bands. You want to leave them as normal as they possibly could be. Um, using a smaller hook helps because you're not, you know, trying to put a great big hook through as well as a finger. Um, but if you if you stretch the band, you're gonna get big holes in your work. And if you're stuffing, that is really not the look you want because you'll be able to see the stuffing through. It's a bit unavoidable when you're doing decreases but um, you're stretching, but you know, try and do it as little as possible and uh, hope that the bands will regain their shape. So I'm doing a single crochet, single crochet and increase. That is my pattern that I'm going through. As I said, I, I saw this, a picture of this, I thought it was hilariously funny. Um, and I have not followed a pattern, so I am unsure whether I'm doing mine exactly how they do it in the crochet pattern or not. Um, I'm sure mine is slightly different, just because of the technique of using bands rather than yarn. And we will finish on an increase. One and two. Let's count our stitches. Our first one is where our stitch marker is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
and 24 is on our hook. Okay, we're going to do three single crochets and an increase for our next round. The round after that will be four single crochets and an increase. Okay, and then we're going to do some fancy footwork after that. All right, so I am going to uh, actually we'll go up to five single crochets and an increase. So you're going to do three rounds by yourself. The first one, three single crochets with an increase. Then the next round, four single crochets and an increase. And then five single crochets and an increase. I will meet you back when we're at that stage. Okay. So I'm back and I have done the rounds. So I've done um, three single crochets and an increase, four single crochets and an increase, five single crochets and an increase. And here I am. Now I should have, let me see, uh, 42 stitches, I believe. Shall we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42 is on my hook where it should be. Now, round six, we are going to be doing six single crochets and an increase, but what we're going to do every so often is throw a leg in, another leg, and a tail. So let's start. We're going to do our first stitch, single crochets still. So here's number one, move your stitch marker. I actually moved to the locking type because um, mine came undone and uh, I had to start again, which was a bit annoying. So one, two, three. Now number three, uh, yep, three, four, number five is the one that we're going to do a slip stitch in. So in here, this is our fifth stitch, we're going to go in and we're going to do a slip stitch. So you're going to pull that through and add the loop that's on your hook, okay? And you're going to chain one, so you've got your slip stitch, one, two, three. So your slip stitch is there and then you have one, two and three. Okay, so it looks like you have four chains but one, the first one, is a slip stitch. So now, let me zoom in closely to show you what I'm going to do. Make sure we're in focus. If you hold your hook up like this, normally when we go through the next stitch we sort of go in here. We want to make sure, because the slip stitch is these two, we're going to go in through the sides here. So with one on your hook, so I'm going to pinch it so that I know which side I'm going through. The one on my hook, I'm going to twist in through this way. So I'm not going on the sides of it, I'm going through from the front to the back. And I'm going to do one over the other and pull this loop through these two, like that. And then I'm going to go through these, the second one, with a, again a single crochet. And that lines me up so that as I go through the slip stitch, I'm still going to be going around without a twist in the bottom here. So that's my slip stitch. So I'm going to go in here because this was my fifth stitch, okay? So that was my fifth stitch. So I'm going to go, let me just see, let me straighten this up. Yes, I do want to go into that fifth stitch again because otherwise we kind of lose it. Do my single crochet and then I'm going to go, this is my sixth stitch. If you remembered, we're, we're doing six and an increase. Come on you, there we go. So my next stitch is going to be an increase. So one back through that same stitch, two. So this is the beginning of our little leg, 
okay now we're going to do another six and an increase so into the next stitch one two three four five six now before I do my increase what I'm going to do I want to mark on the other side where this leg here is we went five stitches and did a leg so going back this way and not counting this center the center one is one two three four five this stitch here is where I want to do my other leg all right five from the other side of my stitch marker now you can put a, a marker band or you can put a, a little sort of um, stitch marker there it really doesn't matter just so that you know as you go around where you want to do your other leg if we're looking at the top here if this is the bottom okay then go opposite this is the top keeping my hook with the little loop on it I'm going to just mark where I want the tail to begin and I'm going to put it at the top 12 o'clock position I'm just going to put a marker band there okay just like that so this was six we now need to do an increase one and back in the same stitch two and let's do another six one two three four five here is my sixth stitch so this next band now bear in mind we have our marker band here okay this next one here is going to be an increase so we're going to do one and do our increase and then this first stitch next to it is our is our tail so we're going to take our band take the marker band off pull through and do a slip stitch okay and now we're going to chain 15 so that that's our slip stitch now we chain 15 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen oopsie fourteen and fifteen now just as see how we have it sort of on the side here again we're going to take it so that we twist it so that this is facing forward I'm going to zoom back so you can see let me try come on hey there we go make sure we're in focus so we were on the side move this forward so that you can see that the tail is going to be like that pinch to the stitch that is one before where you've ended okay and again this is the one we're going to go through but we need to twist quite a lot to get into that normally we would go through this way but then that's going to be on the side so we want to go through from the front to the back and we're going to single crochet sometimes it's easier using fingers on this first one just to make sure we don't lose the bands we're going to single crochet all the way down and if you remember this was number one stitch of our six okay so I'm single crocheting 
down this side of the tail making sure that I don't twist it I want to make sure I'm going from the front not the side of the stitch and don't worry if it twists up a little bit as we go around our next round it will straighten up a little bit For those of you with cats and dogs, well, especially cats, nothing quite says I love you like a cat bottom in the face. <laughs> Through the slip stitch. All right, now we're, we're going to go in through that stitch, the stitch number one, because we didn't really do a single crochet. So we're going to do that like so, and then we're into number two. Number three, four, five, six, and we do an increase, one, and two, and then we count another six, one, Two, three, four, five, six, and an increase. One, and back through that same stitch. Two, and then we count another six. One, two, three. Now number four, we're going to do a slip stitch and do our next leg. If I can get this stitch marker out of the way. <laughs> so slip stitch, add my little loop chain three one two Ooh, let's try that again slip stitch one two and one more three again hold it this way pinch so that you've got the, the stitch that you want to go through and you're going through the, from the front to the back single crochet into the second stitch into the slip stitch now that was four five six and seven will be an increase because it's the first one now the only reason I'm doing the increases is so that it doesn't curl up as much because you want your coaster to still be um, flat not rolling up now our last round this is our last round so we're going to go through the first one and we're doing seven and an increase so this is number one now when you're counting your seven you do not count as you go around your legs and your tail okay so one two three this one is four so we're gonna hold on four for a second go around our little leg here now you want to sort of straighten it out so that you can see where the sides are of your stitch 
and so you've got one stitch here and then as we get to the top you're going to you want to go around the corner so you're going to do two in this one one and two and in the the top one here push our hook through make sure we can get both loops there we are we do one and two and three and then we're in this second one here again we only need to do one and then one in this one now we're back to our main body so that we finished on four so this is going to be five six seven and an increase make sure you go through both loops so one and two and then we do count another seven oopsie one two three see how that's his little little leg four five six seven and an increase one and two one two three four five six Seven. Now this little one here. Oops, come here, you. This little one here. We're going to do our increase, and we know then that when we go around to do the next one after the tail, that's going to be number one. So that's seven. Again, stretch this out so you can see the slip stitch is our first stitch that we're going in, and we're just doing single crochets till we get to the top of the tail. And then we do two and three to get around the top, the, the little curve. So let's do single crochets all the way up. So here we go, here we are at the top here, so I'm going to do, let me see, two, so one and two to get around the corner here, here's my top one here, which is slightly bent over, so let's try one, two, and three and then down the other side single crochets one and 
had the fun of giving uh, my cat is called Baggy, short for Bagheera. And he's 20, as most of you know, and uh, he's kind of on his last leg. So we're watching him very carefully. We found out the other day that he has lymphoma and he's on special medicine. And we have the most lovely lady um, called Abby, who is his vet technician. And Dr. Wolf is his, isn't that the most gorgeous name? For a vet, she's his vet. And they come and visit him in our home, which is just fabulous. So shameless plug for uh, mobile veterinary services because they are absolutely superb here in St. Louis. Um, and uh, I had the fun of giving Abby one of these cat butt coasters. <laughs> I thought it was very appropriate for a vet. Okay, so now here is my slip stitch. So I'm going to go into this stitch here. And our next stitch is number one, which is just here. And now we count seven. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, and an increase, and start again, counting seven, one, oopsie, two, Three, four, five, six. Hey, come back here. Seven, increase. One, two, now remember we're on three, we have to remember that we're on three. Let's go around our little leg here, find the side, so here's our first little leg, band, one. I'm going to do two in this one. One and two. Now here's my top, which is sort of a twisted band because that's how we twisted it over. We'll do three in here. So one. Sorry for the great big cut on the back of my hand as well. Um, I was at Target and uh, of all things looking at for underwear for my little one and I saw her size right at the very back and shoved my hand through um, the you know how they have it on the little wires the little wire of things that stick out and it was really had a sharp jaggedy edge to it and ripped my hand to pieces so there I am sort of bleeding all over Target we finished on three so this is four Five, six, seven, and we finish on an increase. So I'm going to do one and two, and then I'm going to tie off. I'm going to go through that first stitch. And do a slip stitch. I'm going to get rid of my stitch marker. Get your legs out of the way, mate. There we are. Go through the stitch, pull it through the loop, and tie one over the other in a nice tight slip knot. I probably did that too tight. Now, if you have a look, 
and his legs are a bit skew if like that. I prefer this side to this side. So I'm going to, and this is the side with the little V's. So I am going to go through these little V's on the back side. Haha, <laughs> excuse the pun. And grab that tie off band and pull it through and just hide it like that. And there is my little cat bottom. Now, yes, it does mean it does look like the legs are going in different ways, but I don't think that really matters too much. Let me see if I can zoom. I am zoomed all the way back out. I have to show you this way because his tail's too long. There he is. And again, I don't. It doesn't bother me that the tail sort of curls because that's fine. When you've got a cup, it's going to sit perfectly on there. Have fun making it. I know it's a bit naughty, but never mind. Naughty is nice. Take care. Bye.